I'm going into my third year and this field trip is actually a whole module of my next year um, and it's done in two weeks so it's out the way and done with before you start your third year already so a lot of pressure's off um, and of course it's a complete working holiday so it's going to be a great atmosphere and to be actually rather than sat in a lecture hall to actually be out there practically doing it I think it's going to be a great experience. Each year the Centre for Environmental and Marine Sciences at the Scarborough campus of the University of Hull runs a number of national and international field expeditions and the opportunity to join the scuba diving trip in Egypt is offered during the summer break between your second and third years. The expedition is based in Dahab, 90 minutes drive north of the holiday resort of Sharm El Sheikh on the Red Sea. The dive centre is situated on a reef abundant in fish and coral life and next to a sandy lagoon ideal for dive training. If you're not already a diver, this is no problem. Scarborough Campus boasts its own diving instructors and you can elect to study for your basic diving certificate as part of your course and by the end you could qualify as a European scientific diver. The dive centre at Dahab is part of a hotel complex and so students don't have to walk far each morning. There are a number of classrooms, air conditioned, attached where lectures and pre-dive briefings are held. Once briefing is completed, students get kitted up and ready for the dive. You don't even need your own diving equipment as everything you need can be provided by the dive centre. I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. The diving, we've got just such brilliant sights here. I mean, the sites we're diving on mainly are Solomon Reef and the islands, they're called locally, that are sort of the house reefs for this uh, hotel that we're staying at. And um, the quality of the reef is good enough that it's referred to in the fish identification textbook we've got. Um, it's a superb reef. Although it's essentially a diving expedition, not every day is spent in the water, and there are a number of trips to other locations such as this wadi or ancient riverbed. There are mangrove swamps to explore, teeming with marine life such as fiddler crabs, brittle stars, conger eels and giant snails. There's a shipwreck from 1950, and we even offer a day spent diving from a boat. The rooms are sort of little individual bungalows almost, little joined separate rooms in a terrace going down from the road down to the sea. Um, two of us sharing a room. The beds are very comfortable. Uh, each room's got its own shower room with it and a toilet. The toilet paper, I myself actually brought an Andrex from home just in case it was papery, but it's fine. They keep bringing it every day even if you don't use it, so there's plenty to go around. You haven't just got toilet roll, you actually get a little hose pipe which you can use to clean yourself after you've been to the toilet. <laughs> you turn it on and you scrape your bum. <laughs> There's a huge diversity of marine life from soft corals, cleaner wrasse and goatfish through to bigger stuff like octopus, blue spotted ray and turtles. The expedition lasts for 14 days and is subsidised by the university. It is an ideal opportunity to study some very exciting and exotic marine life in its natural environment and not just in a lab tank. As Ellie said, it's like a working holiday and it's in a fantastic climate. I've just had a brilliant time. I think it's the chance of a lifetime for anyone. I don't think I'll ever do a trip like this again. Awesome, yeah. Hard work, a lot of fun. So. Cool. Oh, it's been absolutely amazing. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's great to get so many dives in. Like, the weather's been brilliant. Yeah. Just have a great laugh in general. Uh, I got this for having the most improved buoyancy over the trip. And it's not all work either. We like to have a bit of fun too.